Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mags. So today is the day. Newcastle find out who we have in the Champions League. This is the first time we have been in the Champions League since the 02-03 campaign under Sir Bobby Robson. This is going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see the draw, of course, at 5 o'clock our time. It will be live in Monaco. And of course, it's going to be shown on TNT Sport 1, formerly BT Sport. It will also be streamed live on the UEFA website as well. It more than likely will be streamed as well on YouTube uh, by TNT Sport. Uh, but this is going to be absolutely amazing. We've already seen the Caribou Cup third round draw last night. And we've seen that we've got Manchester City in that one. That's going to be a tough game. But we'll still tear them on. Because you can only play what is in front of you at the end of the day. And I can't wait you know, for all this football that is in store for us uh, in the months ahead. This is going to be absolutely amazing. This is what we've all been waiting for. So much football to sink our teeth into. And this is just going to be a sensational experience. You know, to wait, really again witness, you know, Newcastle playing in Europe once again. The last time we played in Europe was 12 13 season uh, under Alan Pardew, uh, when he, of course, managed to get with to fifth, or well, players managed to get with a fifth uh, the season before that, of course, and we made it through to the quarterfinals to take on Benefica. So that was the last time we were in Europe. But the last time we were in the Champions League, like I just mentioned, was the 0-2-0-3 campaign under War uh, Sir Bobby Robson. So this is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, Newcastle are in pot four and will be paired with one club from pot one and one club from pot two and one club from pot three, as is the way the Champions League draw goes. Uh, we can't be drawn against any of the other three Premier League clubs or any other club in part four. Uh, and when the draw is made, all matches are subject to altercation and, of course, not unheard of of the home and away uh, matches to be switched from the draw order. Uh, confirmation of the match order and match dates will usually follow from UEFA within around 48 hours, uh, according to what, of course, has been said here on NUFC.com, uh, of course. So, in pot one, uh, when you take Manchester City out of there, we could p get any team from Sevilla, Barca, Napoli, Bayern Munich, PSG, Benfica or Feyenoord. Uh, for pot two, when you take Man U and Arsenal out of there, we could get any team from Real, Inter, Borussia Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, uh, RB Leipzig or Porto. And in part three, uh, of course, we could get any one of the teams in part three of Shatner Donetsk, RB Salzburg, AC Milan, SC Braga, PSV Eindhoven, who knocked uh, Rangers into the Europa League last night, uh, Lazio, uh, Red Star, Belgrade in Serbia, and FC Copenhagen is the other team in part three. So we could get any of them teams from part three we can't get any of the teams out of part four of course because that's our pot um and these games will commence on the 19th of september to the 20th of september for match one uh the second match will be the 3rd of october to the 4th of october uh, the third match will be the 24th of october to the 25th of october the uh fourth match will be the 7th of November to the 8th of November. The 5th match will be on the 28th of November to the 29th of November. And the 6th match will be the 12th of December to the 13th of December. So again, them are match 1, 19th of September to the 20th of September. Uh, match 2, the 3rd of October to the 4th of October. Match 3, 24th of October to the 25th of October. Match 4, 7th of November to 8th of November. Match 5, 28th of November to the 29th of November. And match 6, the 12th of December to the 13th of December. This is going to be an interesting one. Um, I can't wait to see what we'll get in this draw tonight. Of course, 5 o'clock 
uh, the draw starts on the TNT uh, Sport 1 channel, formerly BT Sports, and will be streamed live on the UEFA website. More than likely will be streamed on YouTube as well from the TNT Sports account on there. Uh, but this is going to be an absolutely amazing experience to see Newcastle, like I've said, already you know play in Europe again. Because the last time we were in uh, the Champions League, it was absolutely amazing. There was some brilliant moments uh, for Newcastle, of course, we're winning 1-0 at St James's Park uh, with, of course, Andy Griffin scoring a goal against Juventus. Uh, and then there was that 2-2 draw against Inter Milan at the San Siro, backed by around 12,000 Newcastle fans that travelled out to Italy for that game. So this is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, everybody who is going to be able to go to these games, home or away, you know, just enjoy them. Enjoy the raid. That is what it's all about. You know, enjoying the football. Uh, let's get behind the lads and let's show, you know, that we are the best team uh, in England and we are the best team in the world for fan bases. Uh, this is just going to be absolutely amazing. Some of the teams that I would like to see will get pulled out against. I wouldn't mind seeing we get pulled out against Bruce Dortmund. Purely for the fact of their yellow wall against us. You know, that is absolutely amazing. Uh, could you imagine the atmosphere that we would get from that game? Uh, also, you know, getting pulled out against Real Madrid wouldn't be a bad one. Um, quite a few people would probably hear that one, but I would actually really like to see we go up against Real Madrid while I haven't played them in a competitive game before. You know, so it would be nice to do something that we haven't done. Um, more than likely... We'll probably get Barcelona. We usually always get Barcelona in the Champions League. Uh, it's happened quite a few times, of course, uh, when we were in it in the past. So, you know, don't be surprised if Barcelona do get pulled out of the draw. But I hope we'll get somebody else other than Barcelona, to be honest. Not that I'm afraid of them, uh, because I'm not. You know, Barcelona don't really look that fantastic these days. And, you know, looking at most of the teams in there, there's not that many that without sounding cocky you know could really challenge Newcastle that much so I think we could do pretty well in the Champions League unlike most of the pundits in the media will have you believe you know Newcastle are going to get thumped I think we will do pretty well in the Champions League uh, to be honest and of course I'll give you my thoughts on that reaction uh, of course the reaction to that Caribou Cup third round draw last night as well in this video uh, but I will have my reaction for the Champions League draw out on the channel tomorrow alongside uh, in the same video, of course, with the preview for the game against Brighton. Uh, but my reaction to that draw last night, I mean, I was sitting, I was watching it. You know, it took a little while for them to get going in that Caribou Cup third round draw as well again. Uh, like we had to wait last year. And I've got to say, getting drawn against Mad City wasn't the best. But at the end of the day... It's drawn out. There's nothing we can do about it. You know, so we'll play what's in front of it at the end of the day. That's all you can do. Um, but that is going to be an interesting game, you know, because is Pep Guardiola going to go with a full side against it or is he going to play with kids? Are we going to go with a full side against Man City or are we going to go with a slightly weakened side? Uh, I, I think, to be honest, you know, uh, we will more than likely go with a full side against Man City. I kind of see Eddie Howe wanting to go with a, a weakened side against them. So, you know, we would go with a full side, I believe, in that game against City, but we'll have to wait for that one. Uh, that is on the week uh, beginning Monday, the 25th of September uh, for the third round tie. So we'll see what happens, um, you know, before we get up to that game. But it's going to be an interesting time ahead for us Newcastle United fans. Plenty of games to sink with teeth into. This is what we've all been waiting for. Plenty of football. Plenty of action. More chance to see Newcastle play. And that can only be a good thing. Until next time, remember to like, share, subscribe. Make sure to keep an eye out on the channel. Uh, of course, tomorrow for the reaction to the Champions League draw. And also the preview, of course, which will be in the same video uh, for the game against Brighton at the weekend on Saturday. Till next time, I'll see you all later and how are the lads?